Oh wow, good catch. One time they were running fast, man. Video? Hey, Bodhi, it's not your time. Bodhi, this way now. Come on. Bodhi, now. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Not your time. So even though she plays with the leash, she's not one of those dogs that grabs it as you're walking, right? No, no, no. Okay. I mean, she used to be, but we broke that habit. Yeah. That's, honestly, that's like one of the most annoying do yeah. things if a dog does that. Grab the leash while you're trying to walk her or him. Really, Bodhi? <laughs> now she wants to do a tug of war. Yeah, if you want it back, just tell them to drop it. Right. Is that just a cloth leash? Or? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, buddy, drop it. <laughs> Alright, Jeff. Okay, you take care. Alright. Bodie, you can't go home with him. Come on, let's go. Bodhi, hey, hey, sit, ready, get it. Bodhi, sit, good boy, get it.
It's all the skateboard. <laughs> it's all about the skateboard. Hey, Bodie. Looks like he's keyed in, keyed in on these birds over here. Figure out what Bodhi sees over there. Give it. All right. Hey, drop it. No. Sit. Sit. Get it. Brody, come! Come on! Come on! Come on! Give it! Good job, you got on the hop over there. All right, come on, Bodhi. Bodhi, hey. Hey, easy, easy. Come here, sit. No, sit. Ready? Oh, this big guy wants it too. Oh, shoot. <laughs> when he jumps, he's like six feet, six feet high when he jumps. Wow. Okay, get it. 
Okay, so you have two huskies, right? Yes, I do. Lux. Okay. Lux. Okay, and what are their names? Lux and Kaido. Lux and Kaido. Yes. Okay. How did you come up with those names? Kaido was given to us, um, so we were fortunate enough to have him. And then Lux, she's luxury, I guess. Luxury? <laughs> <Yeah>. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this one right here is Ka Kaido? This is Lux. Lux. Yeah, yeah, Lux. Okay. The, Lux. The daddy is Kaido. This is Kaido. Wait, wait, wait. So it's father and son? Father and daughter. Father and daughter. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay, yeah. what does Kaido mean? I really don't know. I feel like it's Japanese. Okay. I don't know what it, what it means. Okay, and what does... Oh, he said Lux is like luxury. Luxury, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, okay, since Kaido is a father, mm -hmm, this guy. where did you get him from? Um, my friend... We were gonna, we had an agreement to mate, and then she ended up moving to an apartment. So she's like, we're gonna get rid of him, okay. you know, just letting you know. And then my mom was able to, t she, she allowed us to take him in. Okay. And so that's how we got Kaido. Oh, Kaido's over there. <laughs> okay. So, and Kaido is a, a Siberian husky, right? Mixed with a Malamute. Oh, yeah, so okay. That explains the size. Yeah, mixed with a Malamute. That's where, like, their tail comes from. Oh, okay. Yeah, because most huskies, like those ones, they just kind of hang. Okay. You know, they don't fully curl, but yeah. hers and Kaido's stay curled oh, all the way. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, and, and what are their ages? Kaido is going to be four, and she's a year and five months. She, they were, she was a quarantine puppy. So oh. they were born in January during the, the COVID I lockdown. I see. So what attracted you to huskies? Um, their eyes, honestly. Well, the mom, the mom I have, she has uh, like white, blue eyes. So you have a third dog? I have four. You have four dogs. Yeah, yes. Okay, why don't we ever see those the dogs? The other two, um, I need my sister to bring them because I can only, I can barely handle both of them. Oh, <laughs> they I They drag see. me when I come in, so oh. if I have to have four, it'd yeah. be way too much, yeah. Well, why don't you just like bring a sled in your car, <laughs> yeah, you're right. hook them up to the sled, okay. then sled them over to the Honestly, dog park. I need to try that out. That would help. <laughs> that would really help me. <laughs> so, and, and Kaido and Lexi, what are their personalities like? Um, very active. They're like partners in crime, as you can see. Yeah. They're always together. Um, very energetic. But Kaido is more, he would like to just be with with me, his owner, whereas okay. Lux is more adventurous. I see. Yeah. So are all four of the Huskies and Malamutes, mm -hmm. do all of them belong to you? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, when I move out, I will take these two, and okay. unfortunately, the other two will go to my sister. Okay. But right now, we all live together, so yeah, I, I take care of them all. I see. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So you said when you when you move out, I don't know if you live with your parents I or do, the family. Right now. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Was there a point at which they said, "Okay, you have two, <laughs> no more"? Yeah. Yeah. That was it. Okay. So how do you how do you sneak in number three and number four? 
Well, uh, the, when Nika, the mom, got pregnant, that's kind of how she allowed us to have the additional three and four because okay. they were puppies. And okay. we were like, we want a puppy. She wants a puppy. So we were able to keep two. Okay. Yeah. And there, is there a specific brand of vacuum that you recommend? Oh, yes. <laughs> I recommend the, the Dyson vacuum. They actually okay. have an attachment where it's like for the pets and the fur, I so I kind of just brush over them and it vacuums okay. the, 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 sh the, the fur that's shedding. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And how many of those vacuums have you been through? Um, about two. The first one wasn't very effective. It was just an Amazon see. brand and then we and then we purchased a more pricier one, the Dyson one, and it's working. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I see that you're wearing a black shirt. Yeah. I'll just show the shirt. How is it that you don't have any hair on you? Uh, <laughs> Um, honestly, that's a good question. I'm usually covered in fur, always, okay, okay. but and I, I always have a lint roller on me. Okay. So that that's very helpful. Okay, and and what's going on with your poor car? My poor car, I have to have the dog seat cover. Okay. Um, I have it on always. I never take it off because okay. I always come to the park. And yeah, for the most part, that protects it from the fur. Okay. And then I take that off and I wash it so it's not covered in fur. Okay. So our huskies. Are they your first dogs that you've had? No, this is actually my second generation of dogs. My okay. first generation, I had a Cocker Spaniel, a Miniature Pincher, and a French Bulldog. Oh, wow. Yeah, so medium to small dogs at first. Okay, so yeah. you always do multiples? You have them at yeah. the same time? Wow. <laughs> yeah, always multiple. We were never just one, one dog wow. at a time. Yeah. Okay, so anyone who's interested in the Husky or Alaskan Malamute, what advice do you have for them before getting one? A lot. Make sure you have a lot of patience. These dogs require a lot of tension, they need a lot of exercise, and they're stubborn. So if you're not willing to take the time to train them and walk them every day, you're going to have some problems. Okay. But if you're patient and you're an active person, right. you're, you're going to love them. Okay. And one more question, mm -hmm. since you said that you know they're active. Uh, what activities do you do to exercise them? I go on a lot of hikes. Yeah. Okay. Along okay. with the dog park and my walks, um, okay. hikes definitely tire them out because of the incline. Okay. So I take them hiking at least twice a weekend, like Saturdays and Sundays in okay. the morning, yeah. early when it's not hot. I see. Yeah, but yeah. They, love, they love a good hike with the waterfall is even a better plus. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Well, thank you so much for sharing about yeah, your dogs. of course. Thank you. So Bodhi has actually been running around in here. Uh, there were some swallows a moment ago, but I guess they went into the larger field. Okay, there's one, right? Well, that's not a swallow. That's a, uh, a sparrow, but... There were swallows in here, and he's chasing those around. Sometimes this large field, in the past, I would take him to this large field with the swallows, and the swallows like to dive bomb, so that was a really excellent exercise for Bodhi to chase the swallows around in this large field. Okay, there's a swallow right there. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, they dive bomb into like, the grass, and then they go back up. Bodhi likes to chase them. Let's try to capture one. There's one right there. I don't know if you can see it. Come on, Bodhi. No, this way. No. Still looking for those swallows. Come on, Bodhi. Let's go up. No. No. Come on. Let's go up. Leave it up now. No, come on up. Good boy. Sit. Still looking for the swallows. Okay. Stay. Okay, so we're going to wrap up today's video. Uh, Bodhi and I, we hope that you enjoyed watching. If you can, give the thumbs up. Also, leave a comment below. A very special thank you to everyone who watches the ads. That helps support Bodhi, and Bodhi and I, we appreciate it so much. And before we go, we want to thank some people who watched past videos 
and left really nice comments. Maybe some of them weren't so nice, but thank you anyhow. So Patricia Proctor, thank you so much. Marley Sanchez, thank you for your lovely comment. Nora Wilcox, Cheryl Farrell, appreciate you also. Grand Day, Damon Kumar, appreciate your nice words about Bodhi. Lorna McKenzie, thank you for all the wonderful comments that you've left on so many videos. Designer, Designer Wendy, thank you so much for your comments. Bodhi, come here, no! Leave it, the swallow is back. Bodhi! Bodhi, come on, now! 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 No! Come on, now! Come on, up! Up! Sit! Sit! No! Okay, as I was saying, Damon Kumar, thank you for your nice comments. Lorna McKenzie, Designer Wendy, Craig Lee, always appreciate uh, your nice comments and expertise when it comes to dogs. And Shelly Perry, thank you all very much for watching and commenting. So until next time, Bodie and I, we hope to see you again for the next episode of Bodie's World. Everyone, take care.